in discussing the whole concept of drug resistance, it is probable that uh, when we talk about one cancer, we are in fact talking about many different cancers, but that also within a single cancer, there are probably many, many different cell types uh, with varying susceptibilities to whatever we're treatment we're talking about, whether it's chemotherapy or whether it's targeted gene-based therapy. Uh, and when we treat a patient, with an effective drug against a population of cells within a given tumor, we can eradicate those cells, but not the cells which are not susceptible to that particular treatment. Those cells which are not susceptible will overgrow and recur. The key here is to identify vulnerabilities in all of the cells, whether through direct cytotoxic chemotherapy or through targeted agents that will kill all of the cells. And that is a huge challenge, uh, particularly as we treat the sensitive cells, the resistant cells grow out. Now, I'm optimistic about our prospects for the future in this regard because we have tools to investigate the genetic basis of cancer, uh, both in melanoma and in all cancer. And so I think that we are on the verge of a, an era of discovery about drug resistance uh, that will make uh, second-line treatment uh, much more effective than it has been uh, in the past.